Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Singapore Air Show 2024. And we are here at the Canadian Pavilion, at the Twin Otters, the de Havilland Aircraft of Canada, a name which all of us have heard. And uh, India, of course, has a great partnership with them. And we have with us Yogesh Gar, who is the regional vice president for de Havilland with for an Asia Pacific and a Middle East market. Welcome, Yugesh, to ADU's chat room. It's just wonderful to have you here. And uh, as always, a pleasure to interview you. Thank you, Sanjita Ji. And the aircraft which is behind you is just wonderful. So is the one which is on the other side. And uh, I think, you know, you'll have to tell us we are meeting at Singapore. How big a market is Singapore for you? So. For us, uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Sankaraj, for having this interview. And um, uh, for De Havilland, Asia Pacific is a big market. And if you see, uh, being in Singapore is very important. That is very centralized for us to capture the South Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Oceania region. So it's a very important air show for us, being a very centralized located. And now we had the customer right from New Zealand, Air Kribati, which is in the Oceania, Australia, Japan. Nepal, India, so almost we covered half the world being in Singapore. So it was very important for De Havilland to showcase their product and uh, meet our customers. And for us, uh, it has been a very, very successful show. We were able to advance our uh, discussions on many of platforms. We have Twin Otters, which is a very versatile aircraft, and you know, Maldives has almost 100 of them. So we had all the operators of Maldives, to, you know, so it's too good to meet them, everybody in this show. And uh, Dash it, which is our, our other platform, we are seeing a tremendous growth in Oceania region from the Dash it. In fact, within the last few years, we are doubling our footprints in in, uh, Oce uh, in Oceania and the Australia region. And when we talk about this aircraft, this is something very close to my heart. This is a firefighter aircraft, which uh, we are starting the production again. And uh, and this is the only purpose-built aircraft in the world, which is having a Yasan Pass certification and uh, it can scoop uh, 10,000 litre of water in just 8 to 12 seconds and can drop uh, drop on any fire at a very low height. So this is something which we are proud of. As a de Havilland company, we want to uh, solve the problems of the of the people. So our all aircrafts are rugged, reliable and they are made for some purpose to resolve a problem. So that's what we are at de Havilland. And we were able to sign few few successful deals which I can't disclose now but we have signed some successful deals and we have signed some uh, DCS support programs also. So overall Singapore uh, Air Show has been very very successful and very very important for us. Yeah and you know since you say that this is such a big region and important region what what does de Havilland do for its MRO facilities for this region? Do you have one here or do the aircraft have to go back to Canada for it? No so uh, MRO in any aircraft aftermarket and support is very important. So we first try to have the uh, the operator themselves be so self-dependent that they have their own MROs. However, if the operator doesn't have, we do have MROs in this region. We have MROs in China, we have MROs in India, we have MROs in Philippines, we have MROs in Australia region. So we, we, we ensure that all of our operators are covered by the MRO region and if we are getting some new operators in a region, we try to work with the local partners to develop the capabilities for the MRO in that region so that the operator doesn't suffer and they have access access to the maintenance facilities in their region which is nearby. Right. And the firefighter you're talking about, is it the first time you're introducing it, uh, Yugesh? Or? It's a legacy product. Uh, it was used to be a dash 215505 which was produced mm. and it stopped the production. But now we are relaunching the firefighters and we already have orders from the European Union. So it will be, you will see, so we have already launched it but the production will start in few months and you will see again the firefighters in the market in the next few years. Right, and production is all in Canada. Everything is Canada and based out of Calgary. Based out of Calgary, yes. And uh, since we are meeting here at Singapore, uh, Yogesh, what is, uh, according to you, a supply chain which you have in this region? In, in terms of uh, parts depots in supply chain, we do have a parts depot where we stand in Singapore. In mm. fact, it's just five minutes walk from this uh, pavilion. So we have a Singapore parts depot which supports our uh, uh, operator in the near region. We have a parts depot in Australia also to support the, um, uh, the operators in the Oceania region. And we, ha we are planning to open a new parts depot. We are contemplating in the Middle East. 
and we have one in uh, Amsterdam. Right. So, which means that you know you are self-sufficient wherever you have a client. Definitely, it's very important that the operator have an access to parts and maintenance within few hours of their uh, of their operation, so that the ground time can be reduced and they have the reliability and operational dispatch reliability available for the aircraft. It's okay. very important that parts should be there when they need it. Right. So, you guys, this is wonderful meeting you here at Singapore Air Show, and uh, yeah, it is at the moment you don't want to disclose, but I'm sure the smile. On the face tells me it's been lovely business and i'm looking forward to hearing from you later on and it's always a pleasure to interview you thank you so much thank you sangita